Let's have a look at setup position. And I'm going to let you then play a few long balls. Mm -hmm. and I'll go and see what Jamie's doing for a couple of minutes. Um, so if I play this, if you stay where you are, I want you to tell me when my bridge length looks a bit too long, when it looks a bit too short. Okay? So. <coughs> too long. Okay. Still too long. Now. That's about right, is it? Come back a little bit. About there. About there. So that's the V. You're saying the V about there, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Where you've, where you've said that now. Let's measure that. So that's about 12 inches, mm -hmm. just about. Yeah, maybe a little bit more. So if we if we put that into your queue, make a little mark on your yeah. queue, remove a mark. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so if you now get, if you get into a position with that bridge length, okay. Is it to the V or to the thumb? To the V. To the V. Right. Okay. So. Okay. Just hold it there. Very slightly forward with the hand, about half a centimetre. Okay, so that is vertical there. Okay, so if you let me, if you let me just take the yeah. cue. So, so you're holding about there. Mm -hmm. So I want to be between the two markers, yeah? Yeah, so about there. Something like that. So if you're in there, look, mm -hmm. uh, then that will naturally give you yeah, uh, yeah. that much. That's great. Because I noticed on those long blues, your bridge length was very variable. Was it? Sometimes it was 14, yeah. sometimes 12. So we need to get that consistent. Yeah. Was it nearer on the successful pots or further away on the I didn't. I didn't really okay. notice. Um, but like I said, it's only been a week since I've really picked up on that just myself. Yeah. So yeah. it's something I'm aware of, but not... Yeah, we need to habitualise it. Yeah, exactly. Because then it's one less reason to miss, one mm -hmm. less variable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There 
go, 100% pot success, we can finish the day satisfied now. Wasn't that brilliant? It certainly was. <laughs> so um, what you do then is just, uh, let's say, do 10 long blues, just testing that again. Mm -hmm. And the important thing is to form the bridge, uh, the grip position before you even approach. I think we uh, did that last mm -hmm. time as well. Uh, but that's so important, you form that first. Yeah, so before I was, I was here and I was fidgeting. That's right, yeah. yeah. Very, very common, yeah. actually, doing that. And um, <clears throat> that's really important. So that will give you that discipline on there. Yeah. Yeah, to, uh, to form that before you approach. And then um, it will also encourage, it will tend to force the bridge to be consistent. So you think with, with them settings, you can pretty much... Um, Execute ninety percent of the shots with what? With this, with this discipline, and then positions you well, can execute all shots. all shots. Yeah, you wouldn't need a longer one for a well, no, because you'd literally be coming off your coming off your V then, wouldn't you? If you're just trying to get more power from somewhere. Why would you need to do that? Though? Why would you need more than that yeah. much backswing? Yeah, that's the point. Yeah. You don't. So that the point is that that backswing is enough to play with power yeah. should you need it. Yeah. So the only time you're really going to be shortening up is if you're on a cushion where you're restricted to the amount of backswing yeah. you have, or if you're obviously bridging over at yeah. a um, ridiculous angle. Yeah. Or a roll-up snooker or yeah. whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it, yeah. But Excellent. apart from that, yeah, effectively every shot, keep it the same. It's less variables. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what I really, really want, um, so keen on, just reducing the variables. Yeah. So if there are only a few variables, at least you can identify which one it is that made the shot miss, mm. you know. Uh, yeah, correct. Absolutely correct. And uh, <clears throat> so you're at a phase now where you will thrive on reducing variables mm -hmm. and uh, then it will be easier to feel differences in how mm -hmm. you play shots as well. Yeah, because obviously one of the um, um, things, again, I haven't got around to trying yet, is things like removing our senses, like hearing, um, sight, you know, just so, so we uh, increase the awareness of the, the, the um, of our senses. Well, wearing we silicone have. earplugs is actually a pretty good way to play. Yeah. Um, because then you have to rely on feel a bit mm -hmm. more. Mm -hmm. and, um, and, and you realise how much you rely on hearing mm -hmm. what the cue is doing in the fingers. I feel that, um, say for example, an exercise like the line-up and you, you, you're kind of operating around the pink area and them little butterfly shots, if you like to call them, I do, I do have the sense of feel more in what I'm doing. Well, I think and, the, and the the caress caressing the balls and, and and hitting the positions precisely where I want to. I think you have. I think that will increase for mm -hmm. you if we get totally consistent in t yeah. uh, factors like this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I'm going to let you do some of those, yeah, okay. and then I'll go next. Are they uh, blues on the spot? So that the difference in height that I played there was probably only two millimeters or so. This is the Snooker Gym Player of the Year for 100 ranked players. You come to a stop in a controlled way and begin the delivery in a controlled way as well.